Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Nerf Fortnite Peely Pack. This blaster pack came out in 2021, it's part of the Nerf Fortnite line. So with that all the way, let's get started by talking about the box. Starting off at the front of the box, as you can see, we have this very open packaging where we can see the blasters included with the Peely Pack, and some information about the Peely Pack. Starting off, this blaster pack comes with 10 Nerf Elite darts. It includes two blasters, and is ages 8 plus. Also, no plastic repackaging this time. Moving on to the back of the box, we have some more information about the blaster pack. Starting off with the names of our blasters. The big blaster is the SR Ripe. This is a reskin of the original Nerf Fortnite SR, which was white instead of this banana color. Which, by the way, the banana coloration is based on the Ripe Wrap, which is a wrap uh, in the actual game. Moving on to the features of the SR Ripe, uh, this blaster is hammer primed, has a removable scope, and is a four dark capacity. Um, this blaster, I'm pretty sure, is a smart AR blaster, um, but we'll see when we get it out of the package. And the small blaster is the Micro Peely, which appears to be um, basically like a jolt. So with that all the way, let's get this thing out of the box. All right, so here we have the Peely Pack out of the box. And let's start off with the instructions. Um, very simple set of instructions. How to use the blaster, how to assemble it. Um, well, how to use both blasters. Also, SR, from what I remember, uh, I think means scoped revolver. Anyway, uh, here is our darts. These are the, kind of the classic uh, Fortnite darts, but it's a purple tip with a blue body. You get 10 of these with the Peely Pack. Now into the blasters themselves, starting off uh, with the Micro Peely. Um, this blaster uh, appears to have been sold by itself as part of the Micro Shot line, which is a line Nerf has basically these collectible jolts. But uh, the Micro Peely is a very simple muzzle loaded, um, bottom prime, single shot blaster. That's all this blaster really is, is a jolt. Nah, not much else to say about it. Uh, we will be testing it a little bit on the range, but not too extensively. And now on to the main event, the SR Ripe. Uh, let's start off by talking about its scope. It's a very simple scope that mounts onto the rail on top. Uh, it's on there pretty well. Uh, to use the blaster, it is a four shot smart AR blaster. I load the darts in like so into the front. You have these four barrels. But anyway, it's a simple, Hammer Prime, single shot revolver. Uh, I want to say it's going to shoot uh, top to bottom. Yeah, this blaster shoots top to bottom. We're done talking about blasters, so um, let's go out on the range and see how these blasters fare. All right, so here we are at the accuracy test. As you can see, we have our targets set up over there. You have the micro peely. We're going to start off with this. Uh, real quick, even though it's a jolt. I'm only going to be firing three shots out of this blaster. Uh, we're going to be starting off with Nerf Elite. All right, let's see how this fares. And by the way, that is your sight picture. Not much of a sight, so anything miss, missed, and missed. Okay, we're just going to move on to Adventure Force. Not really going to reset anything because we did anything and missed. Let's go a little lower. That's too low. And miss. Okay. Lastly, dart zone. Oh, hit hit something. Didn't knock it down. Oh, almost. Yeah. They're just barely making it to the table in a straight line, so. On to the next blaster, the SR Ripe. We're going to be starting off with Nerf Elite. We're going to be firing eight shots each, so... Uh, fire the darts inside and then do a reload. Before I forget, that is your sight picture with the scope. And at least on mine, the scope is a little crooked. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be that way. And then that is your sight picture without the scope. Show the blaster's compatibility with other components. Here's a sharpshooter scope. There you go, you have a more ridiculous looking um, revolver here. All right, let's see how this fares. 
Oh, to the left, down. Oh, hit it. And missed. And you know what? I'm just gonna take off the scope and see if it fares any better. Oh, hit the table. Right. Oh, got two targets. Oh, we're out, okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. We're gonna shoot the first four shots with scope and then four shots without. Um, yeah. Well, we hit stuff without the scope. Next dart, Adventure Force. With the scope, uh, too low, too high. Went straight down, and we actually hit something. Okay. All right, we reloaded without the scope. So we can hit anything. Oh, hit the target. Too far down, too high. And the last one hit the egg. So this thing is very hard to aim uh, because it's going top to bottom. You have to aim up, um, but also the darts are, have a knack of going straight down even when you aim a little bit up. All right, last dart, dart zone. Oh, hit something. And we actually hit that. Now without the scope. Oh. This thing just fundamentally is just difficult, just difficult to aim. Anyway, uh, let's move on to the range test and uh, see how far it shoots. Here we are at the range test. And as usual for context, the chicken marks 25 feet. The swan marks 35 feet. The frog marks 40 feet, and the far back wall marks 50 feet from where I'm standing. We're going to be starting off with the micro peely. We're going to be shooting uh, three darts each, starting off with Nerf Elite. Next, we have Adventure Force. Lastly, Dart Zone. All right. So I'm just gonna put the ranges of the micro peely up on screen now. Uh, Nerf was going around the, um, I guess 35 foot mark. Adventure Force was going a little shorter at around the 30 foot mark. Dart Zone was kind of making a 35 foot mark, so I'm just gonna say about roughly 34. All right, let's move on to the SR Ripe. We're gonna be firing eight shots each, starting off with Nerf Elite. 34, 36, 40, 34, 34. Next, let's move on to uh, Adventure Force. Lastly, Dart Zone. All right, so uh, we're here. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to put the ranges up on screen now. So Nerf was uh, approximately going to the 35 foot mark, with some of those going to the 40 foot mark because it's picked up by the wind. Adventure Force was kind of between the swan and chicken, not really making it to the five foot mark. And then always the last the last shot of both of those reloads uh, for Adventure Force are landing at the uh, chicken, so about 25 feet. So, but for dart zone, same basic, same basic thing. Uh, swan, in between swan and chicken. So yeah, I will say this. The Blaster Smart AR system definitely um, diminishes in speed um, pretty quickly, unlike other blasters I've reviewed in the past. A definite noticeable drop in uh, speed, so um, there is that. Uh, let's move on to the speed test and see how big of a drop that is. All right, so here we're at the speed test. We're gonna start off by testing the micro peely. Uh, three shots each, starting off with Nerf Elite. 56, 55, and there we go. Okay. Next start, Adventure Force. Lastly, Dart Zone. All right, so I'm going to go over the speed of the Peely, Micro Peely later, so let's move on to the SR Ripe here. We're going to be firing eight shots each, starting off with Nerf Elite. Definitely, definitely diminishing quickly. All right, let's move on to Adventure Force. Lastly, let's move on to Dart Zone. All right, so let's go over the speed data. Starting off with the Micro Peasley. With Nerf, we had an average of 51.67. 
a minimum of 44 and a maximum of 56. With Adventure Wars, we had an average of 50, a minimum of 49, and a maximum of 51. With Dart Zone, we had an average of 46, a minimum of 41, and a maximum of 49. Now let's move on to the SR Ripe. SR Ripe Firing Nerf, we had an average of 60.25, a minimum of 40 and a maximum of 70. Adventure Force, we had an average of 58.63, a minimum of 48 and a maximum of 70. With Dart Zone, we had an average of 56.63, a minimum of 73 and a maximum of 67. So if we go over the speeds individually, uh, we can see that there is a significant drop in speed as it goes through each barrel. I think this is the most noticeable out of all the blasters I've tested. So from looking over previous speed test results, the SR Ripe is uh, probably the biggest drop in speed uh, per shot out of all the smart AR blasters I have tested on this channel. But anyway, with that all the way, uh, let's move on to my final thoughts. All right, so what are my final thoughts on the Nerf Fortnite Peely Pack? Uh, but before we do that, as usual, we need to go over where I bought it and how much I spent. I purchased this blaster pack at Walmart for $19.97 USD. All right, so with pricing out of the way, uh, let's talk about the blasters themselves. Starting off with the Micro Peely. Aesthetically, I think the Micro Peely looks pretty cool. Um, a lot of detail on it. It's a little banana banana sticker on it. Yeah, I think that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, nice collectible blaster. Uh, very simple, so I'm not really going to be talking about it too much from here on out. So let's move on to the SR Ripe. Aesthetically, Blaster looks, I guess, pretty cool, uh, other than this really weird barrel on it. Um, just kind of looks weird to me. Uh, it looks good with and without the scope. Um, and it seems to look pretty good with the other scopes I've put on this Blaster. Color-wise, I think Blaster still looks pretty good uh, with the banana aesthetic. Has the bruising here on the yellow. Uh, the paint is actually pretty well done on this one. Uh, not a lot of, there's not much chipping or smearing or smudges on it. I mean, it is kind of a randomish pattern, so smudging and stuff isn't really gonna show up too much, but pretty clean lines. And the only kind of negative I'll say is the scope, uh, is the crosshair is a little crooked, but that might just be on mine, might not be on other SR Peelys, so. Ergonomically, this blaster is a pretty comfortable blaster uh, to hold and shoot. The prime is smooth and the trigger is also nice. Loading the blaster is very simple. It actually doesn't take as long as I thought it was gonna take. Yeah, so overall, very comfortable blaster to use and shoot. Uh, build quality wise, this is actually very, very solid. There's no creaks or bends. Uh, bending on this blaster, so very nice build quality. Compatibility wise, this blaster is pretty compatible with all the darts I tested in it. The rail also seems to use accessories, uh, other accessories pretty well, so no complaints here. Reliability, this blaster hasn't jammed on me or misfired or shot two darts out of it, even with older Adventure Force. Seems to be uh, pretty reliable. All right, so the next point I wanna make is value. What are you getting for your 1997 USD? Well, let's go over some prices real quick. Starting off with the SR's original retail price. So if we go to Hasbro's official website, Nerf's official website, we can see that it originally retailed for $21.99 USD, which is more than the Peely Pack costs. Some people are selling it for, are selling the original SR uh, for like $18, $19.99. I think Walmart see, appears to be selling it for 15, but $21.99 is the original retail price. The Micro Peely, we also go into Hasbro's official website, retail, originally retailed for $11.99 USD. People are selling it, Amazon selling it for $18.25. Yeah, it overall s sells for around $10. Some places, oh, actually Walmart says it's selling it for $6.99, so. Um, oh, there is that. Yeah, it's it's a lot. If we com if we combine the original retail prices, I can't really find the original retail price for the Peely Pack. Uh, doesn't really appear on Hasbro's website. So so if we go twenty one ninety nine plus eleven 
$39.99. It comes out to $33.98 if we combine the original retail prices. Subtracting it from the what I bought it for, uh, comes up to $14.01. So you are saving about $14 uh, if you buy the Peely pack rather than buying them separately. But of course, I actually saw the original SR at Big Lots for, um, I want to say $10. So it, I guess it all depends on if you buy it from other places. So of course, there is definitely gonna be variation in price depending on where you bought these blasters. But going off the original retail price, you are saving quite a bit. Newer prices, not too much. It just all depends on what the retail wants to sell it for. Uh, but if you do buy the standard SR, you're not getting the special edition ripe wrap colored SR. Um, so there is some value in that. There's not much value with the amount of darts you get. Um, you're actually getting exactly the same amount of darts you would have got if you bought them separately. Um, the SR originally came with eight and the micro peeler comes with two. This blaster pack comes at 10, so it's exactly the same. So overall, I think the value really comes from the special edition SR you're getting out of it. So would I overall recommend the Peely pack? If you're a collector, I would say yes. This is definitely a very nice set of blasters for a collection. Not only do you get this exclusive Ripe Wrap uh, SR, but you also get uh, the Micro Shot Peely here, Micro Peely, which is already a collectible. But if you're looking for a blaster to play with, uh, to have battles with and stuff, uh, there are definitely better options for the price of this blaster pack. Blasters with a lot more features for the same price or cheaper. Anyway, that's all I have to say about this blaster pack. Uh, and this will be the end of the review. Comment your thoughts about these blasters down below. Comment what else you want to see on the channel. Uh, be sure to check out my review on the Nerf Fortnite Dual Pack, another Fortnite blaster pack. Be sure to check out my other reviews. I'll have both those linked at the end of the video. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.